Okay, today we are going to be looking at pH balance of a tank and what to look for if you think that your pH balance is off. One of the things is, let's say I have my water level or my tank level below a level that I like. Let's say I want to add some water to this, but I'm not sure how much acid to add. Okay, we've all been there, right? I used to be there too, um, but uh, I know a little bit about chemistry, so I want to show you how to test your pH levels on your tank and what to look for if you think that your pH balance is off. Okay, so if I was to add water to this, how much acid would I need in order to balance it? One of the things you have to know is you can't have just too much, I mean, you can have, well, you can't have too much acid. But the thing is, you don't want to add so much acid because what happens is a lot of the stones that we electroform around are sensitive to acid. So you might find like your sodites or your lapis luzis or definitely your opals and all that other stuff. They don't like acid at all. You're always going to have to like protect them, but if you have too much acid, you're going to have to put 50 coats of protection on them just to get them to be okay. So you don't want your acid level so high that it just eats your stones. Okay, so let me show you what a couple pieces look like when the tank is out of balance and show you what a couple pieces look like when they're in balance. Like, I know this tank is in balance, so let's take this over there. work table with good light okay so we got a couple rings here I can show you now if you look at the texture on this it's kind of sparkly and it's very fuzzy and very rough I mean oh now I don't use brightener I don't like using brightener anymore uh, just because I know I'm going to end up tumbling these anyway and um, Brightener is just another Outlier that you always have to kind of add to your system and worry about the balance of it and all that good stuff. So it's a headache and So if you're using brightener, this has nothing to do with brightener. This only has to do with the pH. Okay Sure brightener will a sort of You know adjust your pH levels, but I'll show you a way to test that so if you're looking at this and you see this fuzzy, sparkly type of texture that's very rough everywhere, um, I know my pH balance is off. Uh, here's one with the pH balance on. So you can see that the difference, the texture. See how this one's smooth -er, versus that, which is really rough. Okay, again, with no brightener, it's always going to be salmon color. Okay, here's a halfway in between the two. So this was in an unbalanced tank, and then I stuck it in a balanced tank. Okay, so I got an unbalanced tank, and maybe I want to use that to make texture. So now I get small nodules and big nodules. It's still a pain to clean up though, so this was more of a test than anything else. While it was out of balance, I thought, hey, you know what, it would be kind of cool, uh, build texture with this. Here's an out of balance one. Okay, lots of texture, really rough, you know, like, seriously, I'm going to have to scrape that down. Um, here's an imbalance one. so. This is after you clean it up, but still, you can see the current lines that go through here, but there's no, like, fuzzy hair. Cool. So, if you see this, you know you have to add acid. If you see this, you got your acid pretty much down. And if you see that your stones are starting to get eaten, you know you could probably add some water to it and be okay with it uh, until 
you start seeing this and then you can rectify it by adding more acid. Alright, so that's kind of a pain to think about, um, but here's a way to test it. So you get yourself a cabbage, about the size of a softball. Chop that cabbage up, um, red cabbage. Boil distilled water. Pour it into the chopped up pieces of cabbage and let it set for four hours. You're going to get a purple dye. That's an awesome purple dye, by the way. You can do a lot with this stuff. So this stuff is a good way to test pH. If I pour this into a little um, thing of electroforming solution, it should turn pink. You can see that on the top there, not the bottom. So I only added a little bit and what I always do is judge it upon the top of the test tube, not the bottom. Okay, so that's bright pink. That's telling me that my pH balance is on. Another method. Turmeric. So here's turmeric. And you just add distilled water. Mix it up take some printer paper and dip it in there and then put them on the side and let them dry. If your electroforming solution is correct, it will turn bright yellow when dipped into your solution. Anytime it comes into a more baseline, it'll turn kind of a red. So you, what you're looking for is bright yellow. Which one should you use? It's in my humble opinion that the cabbage one is a little bit better because it has a range of color. So if you're at all confused, uh, it will say that this is more of a, a tutorial on what you can do and what to see the problems look like firsthand. Um, but if you're confused about the, the different colors that come off of that, go to YouTube and type in pH cabbage. Okay? You'll get a thousand videos on how to do it and the different levels of pH balance. Uh, I always try to keep my balance of between a 0.5 and maybe as high as a 2. Maybe. You know what I mean? So uh, you can go all the way up to three and four I hear but I yeah I keep it within like a 0.5 to a 1 to 2 range obviously again if let's say a 1 you're gonna find all your stones are getting eaten a little bit more and then a 1.5 to somewhere around there your stones might be a little bit safer but you might be experiencing some problems so you got to get within that range of like 0.5 and 1 and you're good to go. 0.5 you're going to get a lot of eaten stones. I know that for absolute fact. Unless you're really sealing those things. And even if it gets into the slightest crack, it's going to eat it from the backside. So maybe as high as 1 would be a better idea. Yellow and bright pink. That's all I know. Okay. As far as like people that go out to Amazon and buy the expensive little tester, yep, just go buy 0.5 and 1. Anything else? Yellow, bright pink. All right, I hope this video helped those people that are experiencing problems within their tank and enjoy it.